This is the story of a watershed, which, it turns out, is about more than water. That's because a watershed also cycles nutrients up and down and in and out of headwaters, streams and rivers that supply clean water for plants and animals. How does that happen? Well, let's take a closer look. It has taken the water centuries to carve this path, flowing over rocks, washing away the soil, and even knocking down trees. All that tumbling water adds oxygen to the stream. The shade keeps the water cool. And all of that makes it perfect for a raccoon, which on this early October day is getting a drink. A water thrush joins the raccoon. It snaps up a fat stonefly. It's going to need that energy for its long migration to Central America. It is a sunny day, but an early cold front has started the leaves falling. Let's see what happens. In a few days, a dark film of bacteria covers the soggy leaves, and Anchitarsis comes to examine this delicious discovery. It is a year-old larval toe-winged beetle. It does not know that predators like the stonefly Icaptura prowl leaf packs looking for herbivores. For the Icaptura, it's a successful hunt, but even it doesn't see the school of rosy-sided dace, a kind of minnow swimming nearby. These fish travel the length of the river basin from the headwaters to the streams and the rivers and back again in search of food and shelter. In the food chain that supports the complex web of life throughout the watershed, what is lunch today becomes waste tomorrow. But the waste is full of nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, calcium and potassium. For example, the kingfisher's guano lands in the water and disperses a cloud of nutrients. Tiny microbes in the water attach to the guano and begin multiplying. The tiny food particles are a perfect snack for a caddisfly named Hydropsyche. It spins a web to catch food particles. But living nearby is another type of caddisfly. Ryan Kofala is a predator, and it has been waiting. It begins to attack, but all the commotion catches the eye of a brook trout, just in time for Hydropsyche to escape. The brook trout plays a role in the nutrient cycle, and not only as a top predator. You see, as the fish swims away, the mucus-like slime that protects its scales sloughs off into the water. It is full of nutrients, and the microbes in the water quickly move in. As the microbe colony settles to the bottom of the stream, the brown mayfly, Macafertium, settles in for lunch. It also leaves behind what is left of its breakfast. Now, Let's go back to the surface of the stream for a minute. You see, where the water flow is really strong, in front of a boulder and the curve of a stream bend, some of the water gets pushed through the porous bottom of the stream bank where it mixes with the groundwater beneath the channel. That's how the nutrients in that bit of breakfast the brown mayfly left behind end up downstream. The mixture travels for a ways underneath the channel of the stream and emerges into a large sunlit expanse of river water. The nutrients, worn by the sun, fuel an explosion of single-celled plant life in the river. Silica-shelled diatoms feast on the nutrients. They use the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the calcium, and the potassium to maintain the chlorophyll, the amino acids, and the nucleotides that drive their molecular machinery. The diatoms are a delightful discovery for a hungry crustacean called Daphnia, which uses its feathery antenna to filter out the tiny diatoms. At night, the satisfied Daphnia drop to the bottom, only to provide dinner for an Eshna, which it turns out is very hungry because it is getting ready to molt. It climbs out of the water and slowly sheds its exoskeleton to be transformed into an adult mosaic garner dragonfly. It will use those new wings to fly up to the headwaters where our story began. Along the way, it will find a mate, 
When it lays its eggs, it will have recycled nutrients from the bottom of the watershed to the top. Clean water, you see, provides and protects all this biodiversity, and the biodiversity helps ensure clean water. It's an intricate, life-giving choreography that can only be staged in a healthy watershed.